Hey, uh, YouTube, um, it's Jaden. Um, I'm gonna try to get this video out real quick. Uh, cause I got two exams coming up tomorrow. Ugh. Yeah, tomorrow actually. And I told my granddad that I'd be studying for it. So I am going to study, but I just find this, I found like this video to be really, uh, potentially hilarious because it literally just happened like an hour ago. Um, and I've been thinking about this for quite some time now, actually. Um, so it's, it's like a, sh a shower thoughts type video, but, um, you know, it also just happened today, right? <clears throat> so, uh, I don't know if I've ever explicitly said it, but I am very much an introvert. So I don't do a lot of hanging out with others, uh, including my own friends. I really don't hang out with them like that. Um, I'm more to myself, right? Not to consider myself a lone wolf or anything. I just really, I don't feel the need to, you know, like if I can do this by my lonely, like, then, you know, I'm all for it. I'll just do it by myself. But, uh, you know, I've been trying to be more outgoing as of late because that's what my friend's been saying. Like, yo, you need to be more outgoing, like make some more friends. Don't just be around us all the time. <laughs> um, so I've been trying to do that. They, uh, you know, from what they've done, you know, I was like, okay, maybe if I try it, it'll work. So they have, they have, they all have Instagram because I'm pretty sure everybody in the world has Instagram now. Um, and they all have like thousands of followers. They're like, really, uh, is that famous? Is that famous numbers? I think it is. Cause I don't even like know a thousand people on campus. Um, but I'm sure, I guess it's from their high school as well. Um, but anyways, yeah, they have like thousands of followers, you know, they're like really, I guess, large on the platform, you know, and, you know, I, I, like, I, I kind of guessed, and I also know, like, what they've said, like, they were like, something along the lines of, you know, if you follow the people that are like in your classes, or the people that you run into a lot, you know, maybe y'all can somehow like, connect through social media or whatever, and then, you know, be become friends that way. So I tried to do that, <laughs> but yet I'm still stuck on this one part. <laughs> so there's some people in my chemistry class, right? I, I take chemistry with one of my actual friends. And then, but on top of that, it's my friend's friends as well. So it's kind of, it's kind of, it gets kind of not convoluted, but it gets uh, a little sticky at times, right? Because it, it's, it's like when... You know, when you when when your relatives friends come over and when your siblings friends come over, like I remember uh, my sister, she wanted to go to the mall with her friends. But then if she went off to the mall with her friends, it left me alone in the house. And I guess I was too young to be left alone in the house or something like that. So I had to go with her. And it was very weird because her friends were all like, what, what was I like 13 at the time? So, yeah, she was like 18. Yeah, yeah she was like 18. And, you know, all her friends are like 18 plus. So I was like, what am I to be doing with them? Like, this is weird. Like, I'm in I'm in ninth grade. Like, can y'all go somewhere else? Can y'all just drop me back off at the house? It was weird. But, you know, I guess I had to hang out with them. And it was still weird. But anyways, so it's kind of like that circumstance where you when, you know, you're around like someone, you know, but they're friends that you don't know. So. I was like, okay, maybe if I can connect more with my friends' friends, maybe we can all be like this one big group. And it would definitely help me in chemistry because chemistry is one of the classes where I'm actually struggling the most in. Um, there hasn't been a single test where I've gotten a, a legitimate A. And that's that's kind of that's kind of freaking me out a little bit, honestly. Um, I've got a legitimate B, but then in a, one other test, you know, this isn't about chemistry grades. Anyways, um, so I was, so I was planning on trying to connect with his friend. So I was like, okay, so he has the three friends that I'm talking about is a guy. And there's, it's two guys and a girl. So I found out what the one guy's Instagram was and I followed him. I guess it's a public account. So, you know, you could just follow him and, you know, do what you can like go on with your day. Um, I couldn't find the other guy's account and it's not like I'm really trying to find them. It's just, if they pop up in the suggested box or whatever it's called you know if i just ha so happen to find him then it's like oh that's dope you know um so i found him and then 
a couple weeks ago, I found the girl, the girl's Instagram. So I was like, okay, cool. But her, her account is private. And again, this is why I hate social media to the death of me. Like, honestly, I'll die on that hill until I like legitimately, you know, croak. I'll, I will die on that hill. So not because, you know, you can't have a private account. No, do it, do, do what you got to do. But it's, it's social media that, that's making the interactions hard in general, right? So I went to uh, request a follow, right? When you press the follow button, it says requested. And then uh, I'm assuming that she didn't, you know, I, I guess she declined it or she just never got to it. I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure because when I went to follow my other friends, some of them were private accounts and it would give me a notification like blank accepted your follow request. And I never got that from the girl. And it's been weeks from now, so it's not like I'm too worried about it. But at the same time, <laughs> it leaves an effect on me because I went out to go grab dinner today. Um, <laughs> I went out to go grab dinner today and I see I see the guy that I uh, followed and he follows me back. But I also see him with the girl. So that's two of them, two of my friend's friends. I see them walking out. No, they're coming back from dinner. Meanwhile, I'm going to dinner. So they're walking kind of towards me, but really to the building. And I'm walking, you know, so like we're going to cross paths eventually. And the thing is, so me and the one guy, by the way, I guess since we kind of followed each other and we're in like this, we're like in similar group chats now. And I kind of see him from time to time. I guess we're kind of cool. We're not really like as cool as like me and my my, my real friends, but <clears throat> real friends. But we're, we're not as cool as like, you know, the people I really hang out with. But it's like, if we see each other now and then, I'll just throw a, you know, what's up? And then he'll say, what's up back or whatever. Um, you know, but so he was walking with the girl and I'm walking. And, and for context, every time I walk out the building, I always have earbuds in and I always keep my hands in my pockets. I do this because, <laughs> oh my goodness, I sound so stupid. It all makes sense in my head, I promise you. So I always walk out with my hands in my pockets and I have earbuds on, whether I'm listening to music or not, because in my mind, I'm thinking like, OK, if they think I'm listening to music, then they, they probably think I can't hear them. So they'll never talk to me. <laughs> like, I try to I try to get as as little communication down, as little interaction down as possible. Cause I just want to I just really want to be by my lonely. Like I'm not it's not that I'm like super i'm not like a shell of a man or what's the term like when you're you know when you're just like shelled in or whatever i'm not trying to be like a, a shell but it's at the same time it's like oh my friend's coming in <laughs> um if i don't have to talk to you why should i you know like it's kind of like that type of you know argument that that stems in my head i i feel i feel like that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I guess, you know, at the same time, you know, I can't complain about why I'm so introverted, right? So anyways, I'm walking towards them. They're walking towards me, I guess. I have the headphones in my ear or the earbuds in my ears. I'm looking straight forward. I'm looking straight forward because at, at the same time, I also look straight forward because I know that if someone's walking towards me and they look at me, then... They're probably trying to figure out who I am, right? But I figure if they look at me and then I just so happen to look at them, then I'm like, I'm obligated to say something, right? So I try to look forward as, like, as much as possible. And if by any chance that I actually, you know, can, you know, identify who the person is in my peripheral and they're like someone that I know, then, I, you know, I'll throw a hey, I'll throw a hey up there, right? But, you know, I'm looking straight forward and I see the two people the, the guy and the girl and I'm like okay I know them but I don't really know them so <laughs> but the thing is at the peripheral I noticed that they're looking at me so it it's like I didn't know whether to say hi because at the same time so the girl like I said she didn't accept my follow request so I guess you know I guess she has a reason you know you know do what you gotta do but it, um, I wonder if, you know, now that I see her, if that makes it, if not, like, if she thinks that, you know, I don't know, if, if she's thinking, like, other thoughts or something, like, 
I wonder if she's thinking like, oh, because I, I uh, declined his follow request, does he does he not like me? Because every time I see her, I don't say anything because I don't know her like that. It's not because she blocked me or whatever or did or declined my follow or whatever. It's just because I don't know her, you know. <laughs> so, you know, I'm thinking, OK, so the girl probably thinks that I feel away from her declining my follow. And also, I just don't necessarily know the guy like that. So in my head, I'm like. It's really uh, a 25, 75% chance that it's probably like a 75% chance that I just don't say anything. But if they happen to say hi, like, because also you got to understand, like, you have to be at a certain distance away from someone to say hi. Like, if you say hi and we're like shoulder to shoulder, I'm not going to look back and say hi because you're too, you're too late. You're too late on the hi. Like, you got to be like, I'm thinking like you got to be about you know you have to be about like three walk strides away and you got to say hi then because i'm gonna keep walking regardless of what you say and then if you say hi you know i'll throw another i'll throw a hi back right but so they let me let me finish the the how how it played out so yes they look at me i can notice that through my peripheral and so i walk past them and i don't say a word <laughs> And, you know, I can hear them as they open the door because I was just like, I, I just, I kind of just got out the door. So, like, you know, I'm still close to the building. So I hear them, you know, and like open the door. And as they open the door, I turn around. <laughs> I turn around thinking like, okay, I kind of feel bad for what I did. And as I turn around, the girl turns around too. So I'm like, no. <laughs> like, I'm legitimately like, oh, no. Like, and another circumstance is so like i said i have i have an exam tomorrow on chemistry so it's better if i actually go to the class and this girl she's like the smartest one in the in the uh, class so she's always at the class rather than like, we do zoom calls so she, i know for a fact and it's sunday today so tomorrow we have class so i know she's going to be in class and since i turned around and looked back and she looked back at me like there's going to be some weird tension. There's going to be some weird tension. Like, should I have said hi in the first place? And she's going to be like, boy, what's wrong with you? Or whatever. Like, I don't know. It's really weird. And, like, there's some weird, there's very weird tension. And I don't, like, it's going to, it's not freaking me out. But it's like, yo, why did she look back? Like, that wasn't for, that wasn't for you to do. Like, why did you look back? You know, like, it's weird. So, you know, this is definitely, like, it's been not racking my brain, but it's definitely been, uh, <laughs> it's definitely been uh, a thing that I've been <laughs> kind of nervous about. Because, again, like, what do I do tomorrow? Because she's going to be in that class for sure. And where she sits in class is so annoying because you walk in the door and she's the first person that you see. Like, she doesn't sit all the way in the back. She sits directly in the front. So when I open the door... I'm going to be obligated to say hi. And it's like, at that point, we've already lost the connection of the real high and then the shoulders to shoulder high. So I don't know where we stand in the, in the interactions. Like, how do I interact with her now? Like, do I just do the, do I do the, you know, do I do one of those or do I, uh, throw, I, I, can't, I can't even throw that up no more. Like I can't, I was never at that point to begin with, but I know I can never make it to that point anymore. Because to get to the, you know, I gotta, I gotta get to the, yo, what's up point. And then, well, for men, you gotta get the dap up. But after the dap, then you just throw a high whenever you see them. But I don't know how it is with women. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I, like, that's, like, the, 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 this is never a potential anymore, you know? So, it's really freaky. <laughs> because, I mean... I thank God that, you know, we only have like what a month and a month and a half before this semester ends. And then hopefully she's never in any of my classes again. <laughs> Cause fam, when she looked back, that was like a, that was like a, Oh, you did, you did wrong. It was like, a, Oh, you did wrong type look as if I was meant to, you know, say hi. So the thing is though, how was I supposed to say hi? If they never said hi first, all they did was look at me. Like the thing is, so the thing is, is that the way that I see things 
I'm sure it's it's pretty common in other introverts. It's like someone has to be the initiator so, so that I can be the replier. Like, I'll never be the one to initiate a high. I'll never be that guy. Like, you got to be the one to do that. And then I'll be like, oh, yo, what's up? You know, like, I'll never be the one to, you know, be like, oh, how's your day? Like, you got to do that to me. Right. Because <laughs> before I used to be scared of doing that, because if you did that and then the other person didn't respond, I was like, oh, wow. So how you like, is that how it is? That's how you coming out? Like, like, what's up with you? But now it's like I'm at the point to where it's like, OK, well, I just I don't need to say hi if I don't know you. Like, what what do I look like doing that? Like, I'll just going around campus, just saying hi to people like, you know, it's not necessary. So. I guess in that situation, they were the instigators or not the, in, the instigator. They were the initiators. But they didn't initiate correctly. If that was the case, they didn't. They That wasn't that wasn't my fault. That wasn't my fault in my brain. That's their fault, because if you were initiating correctly, you would have looked at me and said hi. Three walk strides away. Like, why would you look at me when we're shoulder to shoulder? That's wrong. That's not even correct. Like, I feel like. I played my part correctly by just having my hands in my pockets, looking straight forward and just walking to the cafe. Like, I feel like I did right. Like, and all this sounds stupid. I bet you all this sounds stupid to someone who, who was actually like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like an actual extrovert, but I'm sure to other introverts, this makes a lot of sense. Like, you know, you gotta, you gotta be kind of perfect with the way that you initiate with me or else I'm not gonna do my part well, you know? Um, like for example, well, no, that was the example I gave with the, the guy and the girl and my way to the, the cafe. But like, it's really scary stuff because now we have like this weird beef slash tension that never needed to be like, fam, none of this need. None of this would have happened had they not looked at me at all. Like, this is why it's like, you don't gotta, you don't have to interact with everybody. Like, you you just don't have to. Like, I don't know. I, I may be wrong. I may be right. But I feel like this makes perfect sense in my mind. I feel like I played this out correctly. Like, uh, what is it, the thing that Doctor Strange said to uh, Iron Man um, in uh, <laughs> Infinity War? Or uh, Endgame, he was like, there's 17 million, 600,005 chances of uh, uh, of things, uh, of potential uh, endings, and there's only one way you can get it right. I feel like that one way that I did it was perfectly, you know, I was perfect in that scenario, but I could be wrong. Um, dang, I wanted to make this kind of a short video, but um, like I said, I told my granddad that I would be studying, so... Uh, it is 6.30 right now, so actually, yeah, this is perfect timing. So, anyways, I uh, hope this wasn't too long of a video. I think this is a really funny video, though. Um, and uh, later.